Motor Unit Number Estimation, Wikipedia Article Audio Motor Unit Number Estimation is a technique that uses electromyography to estimate the number of motor units in a muscle. Principles Methods Uses A motor unit consists of one alpha motor neuron and all the muscle fibers it innervates. Muscles differ in the number of motor units that they contain, and how many muscle fibers are within each unit. In a general sense, muscles that require specificity of movement, such as muscles in charge of eye movement, have fewer fibers per unit, while those that are meant for less specific tasks, such as the calf muscles in charge of jumping, have more. Mun uses a general formula of number of motor units equals compound muscle action potential size divided by the mean surface detected motor unit action potential size. The compound muscle action potential size is found using supramaximal stimulation of the motor nerve to the muscle or muscle group. It is recorded using surface electrodes. This is representative of the sum of the surface detected motor unit action potentials from muscles innervated by that nerve. Surface detected motor unit action potential size is the contribution of individual motor units. The way of finding the average size of these action potentials depends on the method used, as described below. There are at least six techniques that are currently in use to estimate motor unit numbers. These include incremental stimulation, multi-point stimulation method, F-response method, spike-triggered averaging method and the statistical method. Incremental stimulation is the most illustrative of the concept, and so will be discussed here. According to Henman's size principle, motor unit recruitment is always in the same order from smallest to largest motor unit. Additionally, the motor unit action potential is an all or none phenomenon, once the recruitment threshold is reached, it fires fully. Incremental stimulation starts giving electrical stimulation at a very low stimulus intensity and increases gradually to reach the recruitment threshold of successively larger motor units until the intensity of the CMAP is reached. A step is noted when an increase in stimulus leads to an increase in recorded EMG. The CMAP is then divided by the number of steps required to reach the intensity of the CMAP to get a means mu up size. The number of steps does not correlate to the total number of motor units in the muscle. Instead, the CMAP size is then divided by the means mu up size to get an estimation of the number of motor units in the muscle. The number of motor units per muscle can change due to aging, disease, or injury. These techniques are used to diagnose disease or monitor the effects of aging, disease and injury over time. In neuropathies, motor neurons die off, reducing the number of motor units progressively. In myopathies the size of the motor units is reduced because of the death of motor fibers but the number of motor units remains the same until the disease progresses to a very severe state. In collaboration with other electromyography techniques, these conditions can be diagnosed and monitored. In a similar vein, normal aging also reduces the number of motor units but not to the same degree as disease. The effects of injury depend on the circumstances.